so here we are back again, Crusader Kings. And uh, so the kingdom is uh, half the size it was, but I guess we're back pretty much where we started the game. Not as good a king, I guess, but uh, it's alright. Let's just check out the queen. Could marry my nephew to uh, to one of these uh, fellows. Wait and see. For some reason I get a nomination for the Royal Laws of Galicia, even though I don't think I have any any duchies there. I have the Duchy of Portugal, even though I don't control any of the territories. Oh, that's a bit alarming. So I think uh, this guy. Ah, oh, so I guess he he lost the war, maybe. Let's see if it's in our news notes. It's not, but I guess uh, he isn't king of Galicia. So for now, we'll just save our money, bide our time, and, and take our revenge. So the Aberbeed Emirate have managed to take a small part of our territory in Galicia when we weren't looking. Which is a bit of a problem. We have claims on Castile, the Kingdom of Galicia. Ooh. Yeah, let's approve the increased crown authority. Oh, I think we've got some vassal still raised. Some vassal troops still raised. So I don't think we have any claims on these territories anymore, so let's get started fabricating them. improving our tech level again, build up some money, and we'll take our revenge. Hopefully, anyway. I think we have all the votes in, uh, in Lyon, so that's alright. So do we want our kid to be wroth? Probably not. We should probably make a bit for patient. We should let time pass, we'll speed it up. I'm tempted to try and take revenge on Castile at some point. King Sancho the Great has been a thorn in my side. Oh, he's at war again. Who's at war with this time? He's at war with Duke Richard of Salerno. It's bizarre. Still no kids, so I guess uh, we should just try and get some one way or the other. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, Having got some action on the side, my guys are uh, feeling uh, a bit more up to it. Managed to get the wife pregnant, which might allow us to get the Duchy of Anjou. We need just a bit more leverage because all three of the kingdoms here are about equal strength. Can we afford that? I think we can. So we'll get that claim and denier. We'll get started on the next province. The king, uh, King Rufus, is reasonably young, 29, giving us uh, some chance of uh, claiming up some territories. Let's just check how my sisters are doing. They seem to be doing alright. <laughs> 
Including Princess Grace, who's married to my arch enemy, Duke Alfonso the Bold. So, who are our allies? You thought these guys would be pretty handy. Have we got a claim on the Kingdom of Navarre? No. At the moment our Crown Authority is appalling, which limits the number of men we can uh, we can summon. But luckily we control directly many of the territories here. Apparently the Count of Astorga doesn't completely hate us, so maybe we can uh, release him. Sadly, due to our low crown authority, we can't revoke anything. Oh, Queen Camilla. What's happened? Oh dear. Let's try and keep the family together then. Desire's a better alliance. That's a bit of a problem, because it means that... Uh, we may lose that territory to the family now. We could plot to kill since we stand in line to claim the throne. And maybe that's what we shall try and do. Let's see if we can invite to plot. The Duke of Galicia could pretty much kill her right away, but currently no one's around to back our plot. So we'll just have to wait. Slightly risky strategy. Maybe if I had a son, that would work better. But currently, no sons for us. Since I'm such a diligent person, I'll make sure that everything is as good as it can be. When it comes to my fighting men, I can focus on one of two things. More soldiers, or morale. It's quite temporary. we will just go with more soldiers for now. We had a daughter. Guess we'll have to go with another one. Call her. Okay, it's not much going on so far. We'll speed things up. A rather Nelson neighbor keeps sending me envoys begging for money or demanding tribute. I feel rather confused about his arbitrary ways and I'm not sure what I should do. Let's send him some roses. I have to let that guy rot for now. Give him a chance. I don't think my daughter's in line to inherit any. Oh, she's inherited line. <laughs> I didn't realise she was going to inherit the Duchy of Anjou. That's quite a significant one. Not guaranteed, though. I think if I have a son, then, then he'll take the inheritance. My nephew Matthew is modest and humble, never showing off or bragging. Uh, Humble might come in handy. Means he'll be more trustworthy. I'll invite this guy to the plot. I'll invite this guy to the plot. Building up a little bit of plot power now.
Basically, anyone with a thumb next to them I can invite to the plot. So that's what I'm doing. The more people, of course, the higher the risk of being discovered. So it is a risk. But we need all their help. Because we're just terrible plotters, I guess. Good so far. As long as William Craigues uh, still stands in line to inherit everything, I guess we're okay. What is he? He's slothful and greedy. Wow, that's that's the sort of yeah, that's the stuff. Who who? No one no one good will marry him either. Probably because he's just so pathetic. I marry him to his cousin? Perfectly common in medieval times, but uh, not sure if it's a great idea. I think there'll be some genetic effects in this. Hmm. Just replying to a message there. Hmm. Peace at the moment, at least. So, who are the allies of this of this guy? Hmm. Appears to have no allies. May it be worth claiming denier. It's a bit isolated. I'm gonna push for it because. Uh, we just need the prestige of some wins, basically. We can barely recruit any men, of course. But we'll call upon our allies. Maybe they'll send enough men for us to prevail. Calling upon the person I'm now trying to murder. It's like, it's like Game of Thrones. I thought I already had Duke Humphrey in my list of backers. Guess all the Dukes must have pulled out. Just because uh, she refuses to marry... Uh, Anyone in, from my neck of the woods? Hopefully, she'll at least marry matrilineally. Otherwise, I'm going to be incredibly annoyed. I can't even choose good generals at the moment because those are the rules. If you don't have enough crown authority. It is an issue. Duke Alf Afonso the Bold is also a bit of a troublemaker. Shall I release Aveco, Count of Astorga? Yeah, let's release him. I guess he didn't mean anything by his evil ways. Gonna go conquer that land from the evil Muslims. Took a bit of time there, bit of a mistake, I guess. Explain why I cannot release this person. Because I have good diplomacy, I can do that. And we're pushing on. Oh, even the Holy Roman Emperor sent a few men. 
some guys rebelled, which I guess is good. A letter arrived from my netizen neighbour, not for many days after. Not many days after the astonished envoys returned home. Ah, oh, he's most grateful and deeply touched by the red roses I, se I sent him. It's not bad. I guess flowers solve many problems. My guy has a spectacular moustache, King Rufus. And we're just sieging it out, improving my stewardship. I guess that must be my ambition. Yeah, and that and murder this uh, this woman. Maybe I should improve my spy mastery. Oh, we just gained a lot of plot power there. I don't know how. Someone must have suddenly gained a lot of leverage. Can we reunite the crowns back under my air? Maybe. Is he going to surrender? Yes, fantastic. We got some prestige for our victory. Stand down. Not bad. That's not good. That would damage our plot power as well, unfortunately. That's the way it works. It also means she knows I plot to kill her now. Which, uh, yeah. That could well be bad. Duke Garcia's war for Ga Galicia. Oh dear. I have to see how these wars go. We might need to interfere. We're doing okay though. We're saving a bit of money. Improve our, our military forces a little. We can get a, uh, a bit more heavy infantry, maybe. We'll save the rest of the mercenaries. My democy size is too big, so I probably want to give one away. Now I could make him a count, but then I think I'd lose control of him, which would be a bit of an issue. Be good if I could find him someone uh, worth marrying. I think we might have to go with the daughter just in case. Shall we beat him? Beat him into, into action? Yeah, let's beat him. Can't do that with your children these days. Oh, we have a son. What to call him though? Uh, it's a tough one. Maybe we'll just go with uh, John. Does that make him the heir to the Duchy of Anjou? It does. Maybe the Queen will prefer that. Probably not, seeing as how I'm plotting to kill her. Arrange a betrothal of the daughter then. Who's the most powerful person? The King of Poland. He'll do. Because he's heir to a duchy, I don't know if I'm going to want to make him uh, a count. I don't know if we'll have authority over him. How's our plot power doing? 102% should give us a pretty good chance. Ah, oh, our court chaplain just died. Small blow. We need to talk to the guy who's plotting to uh, 
claim independence, but he hasn't got much power, so at the moment that's not a problem. Oh god, looks like our allies are just getting overwhelmed, left, right and centre. They're claiming Portugal, the evil Muslim hordes. See, because of the divisions within Christendom, we're just being driven back, inch by inch. I think I have claims on, uh... You yeah, have a de jure claim on that province. Not that that matters to these guys. This guy's pretty powerful. Abba Bede. I think he owns all of this. And that. Hmm. We could always launch a holy war. Who rules in Granada? We could make a bid for Granada. But I think ho holy war CB is pretty risky. He's currently rebelling against his liege as well. Probably not ideal. I have no idea what's going on there actually. Should I create the Duchy of Mallorca? It's quite pricey. Someone could always uh, take it off of me unfortunately. I think we'll go without it. We're still in a decent position. Not as good as if we still controlled this province. But it was always going to be difficult to hold. We overreached ourselves and uh, miscalculated in the Civil War. And that's the price we paid. Shall we welcome them with a lavish feast? Welcome them reluctantly. We're apparently soon going to have a tragic fall from the castle gates. What do I want? Let's get some piety. A bit of gold. It's okay. Ah, oh, success. It seems little Queen Camilla had not yet learned to fly. She died a quick death. Who now rules? King William II of Galicia. Uh, I guess... Uh, my, myself? It's uh, a bit worrying. I hadn't realised we'd have that issue. I think he's just king of Galicia. Is he at war with anyone? Because we might want to help him. Where is he ruling from? Not entirely sure. Call to arm against the Doge of Pisa. Alright, whatever. Shall we assist this guy? We should offer to join his war. Yeah, we shouldn't let them take Portugal. Should we join him in the war? Yeah. We'll join him in both wars. Oh, have to join the holy war as well, of course, against the infidel. Our nephew is in trouble. So now we're once again at war with uh, Castile, good old Castile, the troublemakers.
I think it looks like Aragorn is on our side this time. Should probably be handy. I think we have a decent sized army. Unfortunately, we can't choose who our generals are. I think we have to deal with the Muslim army first. We'll wait for the Aragorn's forces to join us. going in against the heretics oh they're gaining ground fast we shouldn't stand for this Defeated the, the Muslim forces. We're driving them back, little by little, inch by inch. I think we get good prestige for helping uh, our allies. Pope is helping us in the war, which is quite handy. Diplomatic explain why I cannot. Having good stats is always extremely useful in this game. So we made some small gains, it's not bad. And despite having a pathetic army, we are we are helping our allies. Have to go back and take out the army next. Um, diligent. Matthew does his homework and is always on time for his lessons. Fantastic. He's shaping up to be quite good. We built our small barracks, uh, I guess that might help. Okay, the, the Holy War ended uh, inconclusively. I don't know why. Oh dear. We lost the, the war for Galicia, somehow. Wow, I'm not very happy with that. So, so who's, is there a king in Galicia? There is, King Humphrey. Hmm. That is a problem. The Duke of Galicia as well. Do we have any cause for war with him? Hmm, sadly not. Maybe that's how we should start fabricating our claims. Oh, looks like Galicia's having another civil war. It's confusing, I thought that guy just won the war for Galicia. Ah, oh, it's just chaotic over there. Stand down our troops for now. Still that manoeuvring for nothing? Well, I guess not absolutely for nothing. This guy somehow became Duke, Duke of Mallorca when we weren't looking. Claims on loads of stuff.
main problem is uh, Royal Laws of Galicia. Call to arms against Serene Doge Andrea of Venice, Count Humphrey of Capua, and Sheik Amin Vizate. What sort of war is this? Venetian Sicilian War for the coast of Apulia, and the Capuan War for Arnold's claim in Sicily. Oh, God. Uh, okay. I don't really know who we just went to war with. I just disbanded my armies, but. Need to get back on the field. Let's see. Uh, how do we check who we're at war with? Diplomatic relations? Red. Oh dear. The war's like on the other side of the map. It looks like whoever it is has the assistance of the HRE, maybe. We'll send our army over. That's what it's for. Keep our vassal's forces busy. The Doge of Venice has a colossal army. Looks like it's a Merc army though. I think he'll we'll lose this war. So I guess we will march on the coast. Oh, well, it's a good place to leave off there, actually, before we set off on this expedition to uh, Italy.